Hey everyone, and welcome to the third Make It Mac Monday. That's right, the third Make It Mac Monday. If you made it this far, thank you so much for hanging with me, for all the love, support, for every watch, comment, like, subscribe, the bell icon, or sharing the video. Every little bit helps and means the world to me, just knowing that you're focusing on this stuff. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, without further ado, let's get on to the subject of today's video. Again, the third Make It Mac Monday topic is how to add an attachment properly on a Mac. That's right, you heard me, how to add an attachment properly. Now some of you may think, JV, come on, adding an attachment, I can do that, no big deal. And you know what, I tell you, you probably can. In fact, that's what this channel is about, is empowering people, so if you know how, fantastic, I'm happy for you. And I'd love to make a video covering you, showing people how to do it. <laughs> Not to put you on the spot, but that would be kind of cool. Anyway, future ideas, but no, so there are a few reasons why this is important. One, again on the Mac, for style points. Two, for efficiency, could save you a lot of time at work. And three, in certain companies, for compliance reasons, all depending on the way that you add an attachment, could end up really benefiting you or working against you. And we definitely don't want the latter to happen. So this is like the news. If you wanna catch that third reason, which is by far the most substantial, you're gonna to have to stick around to the end of the video. Alrighty, this is JVIT, and here we go. So this is the live demonstration of the multiple ways to add email attachments on a Mac. So what we'll do, we'll start with the Mac Mail, just opening that. That's this icon down here. For those that are unfamiliar, it looks kind of like a stamp with a bird or eagle on it. So you click that, and what happens, I already have an email account configured in here. If any of you, you know, see this and are wondering, hey, JV, how do I add an email account to the Mac mail? Just let me know in the comments below, and I'd be glad to make a video on that too. But for this, it's kind of from the position of someone who already has their mail set up on the Mac, and it's how to work from it from within there. So yeah, again, to start, you click on the mail icon, you open up your email application, and then you take a look on the left-hand side. And what you do, you click on this icon, that's the Compose New Message icon. You type in whoever you're going to send it to. In this case, we'll just send it to myself. That way we're not bothering anybody. We'll give it a subject, and we'll just call it JVIT Logo, because that's what we're going to be sending. And then you take a look up in the upper right-hand corner of the window, and you see this paperclip icon. That's kind of the universal icon for attachments. It uh, looks very similar on Windows computers and likely Linux as well. So you click on the paperclip. What happens, you then go to the area where your file is located. In this case, it's right on the desktop. So you go to the desktop area, select the logo, and you could either double click or select this button that says choose file. I'm gonna select choose file because it's first way around. We're showing the long way around. So there we go, and there's your file. Now the neat thing, uh, Apple does kind of give you a choice, so that way you can choose the image size. By default, it'll kind of leave it on the last one that you chose, whether it's actual size or large. Yet sometimes, and if you take a look at this number right here, where it says message size, sometimes it's too big to be sent via email. So if I went actual size, 1.1 megs, that's, um, that's pretty large. So I'm not certain that that could send. Now if you ever try to send something and get a message saying, hey, this file's too large to send via email. One of the things you could do, at least on the Mac side, with photos, is you can just use this image size, select any one of those options. Small is likely going to work, and then you're off to the races. You're good to go. So now that we've attached it the long way around, we've chosen our image size. I'm going to click the Send button to kind of complete the process. And before you know it, it'll be within my inbox, and I'll have my message. And now on to the second step. So what we're going to do now, we're going to click on this Compose Message button again. We're going to get a new one started. And we're just going to move this window slightly out of the way. I'm going to type in our recipient. JIT logo 2. And what we're going to do this time is we're actually going to click and drag the file that we want to attach right into the email. There we are. 
and so it places it right in there. So again, that's a little quicker, a little more efficient, which is pretty neat. So as much as it might not seem like a big step, that's something that if you do it enough throughout the course of your day, especially if you have to email a lot of people, can save you a lot of time. And just like before, you're welcome to choose the image size, but otherwise, the file's in there, you finish typing your message, you click send, and you're off to the races. Now, the next way that I want to show you, this way is pretty sweet, what you do, and it gets a little quicker. You basically open up a new message again. It's the same process. Let's go JVIT logo 3, because this is the third one. We're going to move this slightly out of the way. And what you do is you just right click like we covered in the other video and you go copy and then you right click again within the body of the message so first you right clicked and copied on the file you were trying to send and then you right click within the body of the email and you go paste and it'll paste it right in there so there you go you're good to go then you're welcome to click send again now that was a little freebie so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you the next way which is pretty cool so we're going to completely not just close out of the Mac application, but we're actually going to quit out of it. So we're going to click on this mail. We're going to go quit mail. So you might be thinking, all right, JB, this sounds a little crazy. You're making a video on sending emails. You just quit out of your email application. But this way is actually pretty neat and I think could save you a lot of time too. So let's say that you have the file you know you want to send. Again, in this case, it's on the desktop. What you can do without even opening the email application, you just right click on it and then you go down to the share area. From there you select mail. What will happen, it will actually open your mail application and a new message with your attachment in there right away. And then all you have to do is select who you're sending it to, maybe put a subject line if you think it's necessary and then you click the send button. So it's pretty wonderful. Here we go, JB IT logo. I believe this is four, actually. I know I told you I was going to give you three, but I'm actually giving you four. And I'll tell you why I'm giving you a bonus in just a second. Then we'll click send. And we're off to the races. It's just going to keep going. Now, I do have something extra to share with you. So for the final method, uh, this one is really important. This is what I mentioned, all depending on your company's compliance rules could actually really benefit you and save your hide. So what'll happen, that final way that we talked about in right clicking or using two fingers on the Mac <laughs> to pull up that menu, click share and then the new message and it automatically creates the message with the attachment that you're trying to send. The thing is, if you're trying to do that from Microsoft Office, let's say that's your default mail application, then what will happen is it actually won't insert your signature automatically. Now, the one thing is, again, it still creates the message and sends it out, but all depending on the organization you work for and how important their compliance rules are. For example, we've all heard of this thing called opt-out language. Even if that term's unfamiliar, it's kind of like when you're subscribed to something and you get the email that says, you know, this is, you know, so-and-so company, click here if you wish to stop receiving messages from them. That's considered opt-out language. And for some organizations, that could be really important and critical and actually considered a compliance violation if you don't have it. So yeah, uh, just a, a word to you guys. Go ahead and in the event that your company does have a rule like that, just be mindful if Microsoft Office is your default application to make sure to insert your signature. With that being said, again, thank you everyone. This is JV from JVIT. I appreciate you tuning in. Don't forget to uh, Leave a little love in the comments section <laughs> if you have any ideas, uh, things you'd like to see, comments on the video. I'd love to hear about them. Um, with that being said, hope you all have a wonderful week. God bless.